this final month, you could go into labor at any time. And then you may notice that your baby moves less due to a tighter space. Like the baby is now big. So moving as much as before is not like now. And whatever position they are at this time, they most likely will maintain the position. So if they are breached, that is if they are coming with their buttocks, they may maintain this position. If they are coming with a head, they may, they may maintain this position. Ideally, the baby is supposed to be head down in the pelvis. Occasionally, we have some babies that will come with their buttocks or sometimes even across your stomach. That is called transverse lie. If it's breech or it's transverse, you may need a caesarean section or the baby may need to be turned head down so that you'll be able to deliver this baby. Some women at this time experience something we call a nesting instinct and then they are compelled to ready their home for the baby's arrival. In the hospital, what we do for you is that we continue to measure your blood pressure, your blood sugar, your urine sugar, your urine protein. Your doctor may decide to give you an internal pelvic examination to determine if your cervix has started to dilate. We call it membrane stripping or membrane sweeping. We insert our hands into the cervix and try to see if we could sweep our fingers around the membrane. They are, it's a form of trying to help you to go into labor earlier so that you don't go past your dates. It's been found that women who are able to go through this membrane stripping, chances that they may deliver on time is higher, so they do not go beyond the time that they are supposed to deliver. And then your caregiver at this time may also do a vaginal test for you to see if there are certain infections, such as caused by a group B streptococcus. And then at this time, you need to visit your caregiver every week till 40 weeks if you don't deliver you visit for about a week more afterwards if you still do not go into labor then we help you to go into labor by a process called induction of labor as a recap of events pregnancy is made up of three trimesters the first second and third trimester each trimester is made up of about three months bear in mind that per each trimester there are certain tests that would need to be done for you there are developmental processes that are going on at this time when you reach your third trimester you will need to discuss a birth plan with your provider so that you prepare for this baby most pregnancies end by 40 weeks if by 40 weeks you have not gone into labor you may need to visit your provider a lot more times for a plan to be done for you either a vaginal delivery or a caesarean section it's not recommended that you go past 41 plus three days without going into labor. So any woman who approaches this age is under, undergoes either an induction of labor or a caesarean section, depending on which one is feasible. Thank you.